What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. Today, I want to discuss an upcoming middleweight bout, but before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly and help the channel grow. All right, guys, getting right into it. We got Andre Petrovsky taking on Jacob Balcoon this Saturday in the middleweight division. In a fight, man, that I like. It's a sneaky fight on the prelims. It's definitely flying under the radar. We got Andre, who's coming off of his knockout loss to Michelle Pijeda. And like his first real push towards the rankings, right? Coming off of that split decision victory over Gerald Mearshart. He had that fight against Pijeda, where he just, he got caught with the explosive shot, hit the ground. Michelle followed up with some ground and pound, and that was it. Real quick, one minute into the very first round. But before that, man, Andre Petrovsky was on a tear within the UFC, finishing off the prospect, Nick Maximoff, beating guys like Wellington Terman. I mean, he even, he's even had really good grappling matches against guys like OSP, Eric Anders, Phil Hawes. The guy's gone out there and fought really, really good dudes, and he's looked better and better every single time out. And it was really starting to look like a contender in the middleweight division. But he went against Michelle Pijeda, and Michelle just really showed just how good that fucking guy is, right? How athletic, explosive he is, because he put Andre out. Not like out cold, but he put him right to the ground. He curled up. That was all she wrote. Now going against Jacob Malkoon, right, who hasn't really blossomed yet into that contender status. He's coming off that loss to Cody Brundage where he, it was like a disqualification loss, illegal elbows to the back of the head. I kind of remember that where he was dominating Cody and he hurt him with the back of the head and Cody was able to find his way out and get the victory via disqualification. But before that, Jacob Malkoon also had a victory over the prospect of Nick Maximoff. His only two losses, besides the Cody Brundage fight, Brendan Allen, Phil Hawes, two really good opponents. Brendan Allen, that loss is definitely age well for him. His win against AJ Dobson, Abdul Razak Al Hassan. So he's really gone out there and got some good victories over some pretty good opponents. But I think Andre Petrovsky, man, I just think he's been able to put his striking together pretty good. He's not, you know, I I give him like a C minus in his striking. But I think with his grappling, his aggression, his fight IQ, I give Andre like his, his just. I like his sense of urgency. I like his fighting style. I like what Jacob Malkoon does. He makes really good guys look not so good. And I'm curious to see how Andre is definitely reacting to after his knockout loss to uh, Pijeda as well. But I just I like Andre, man. I think time and time again he's looked better. And I think, I'm curious to see how he's, he's going to react to his loss. But he's lost before. That wasn't his first loss. He lost to Brian Battle. Back in uh, Tough. He lost to Aaron Jeffrey as well. So I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to react. But, you know, I think uh, Andre Petrovsky, I think he's an ultimate competitor. And Jacob Malkoon as well with him coming off a loss to Cody Brundage. In a fight that he was winning, man. I don't know, maybe he's hungry to get that too. But I think Andre Petrovsky, I think he's going to go out there. I think he's going to get the victory. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think is going to happen in this fight. Is Andre Petrovsky going to get it done? Or do you guys think Jacob Malkoon is going to get it done? Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. Help the channel grow. Mr. Mustache MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans.